there are components of the immune system that interact with with virions. Um, and then so that will elicit the primary immune response. They will interact with the with proteins on the envelope of the virus, and then they'll go back to the lymph nodes, and then the cells will interact, and they will produce antibodies that will then be able to go and kill the viruses. But the thing is that whole process takes four or five days. Mm -hmm. So in that time span, you've become infected by the virus, and you could be potentially very, very ill and also be infecting other people. Mm -hmm. So what the vaccine does is it artificially prompts the primary immune response. So in the past, we had we had taken viruses and attenuated them. So we, you know, made them it made them unable to act. So an attenuated virus or a viral particle. Also, we mm -hmm. would take just the 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 envelope protein itself the proteins, uh -huh. and put that in there. And so then everything right. It's just a protein, but it is the antigen. It is the thing mm -hmm. that the immune system is going to recognize and respond to. So the point is that we inject something into the into the human body that elicits the primary Im immune response such that the an the, the necessary antibodies are produced so that if the body ever comes into contact with that with that virus it has antibodies ready to go when antibodies interact with that with that antigen it's a signal and then macrophages come and destroy the invading uh, entity so just everything can happen really fast the immune system can work right away and kill the viruses as opposed to waiting this four or five day time period for to antibodies to be, to be produced so that's really all it is and so again classically it had been uh, attenuated viruses or viral particles. The new thing now is with these mRNA vaccines, but it's really not very different because as we said, uh, we would inject the viral protein. Well, mm -hmm. what we've done instead is this mRNA transcript, it's in our bodies, transcription and translation. So the DNA is read, to, uh, a gene is read to make an mm -hmm. mRNA, and then the mRNA is translated to make a protein. So here, this uh, foreign mRNA is translated into the viral protein. So instead of injecting the viral protein, we we inject viral mRNA, which is translated to make the viral protein. Mm -hmm. So it's just one extra step, and, and we're just getting the viral protein that way so that it can uh, interact with that and generate the antibodies. And so the the reason this is brilliant is because in the past we've we've made mistakes right people have injected what they thought were attenuated viruses that actually weren't so like there was a whole batch of polio vaccines where they just gave people polio it, it oh, just wow. they didn't properly attenuate the virus so they just injected them with with polio <laughs> um, <laughs> oh, like it's you know and so th this is a very good this is a very interesting innovation because there's no there's no viral particle being injected